Hi, everyone. When we are waiting, please scan the QR code and see what's going on. There are different ones. You can try it. Hi, my name is Martha Kang Chen. I am a Chinese teacher at Mipis High. I've been teaching for eleven years. In fact, my two kids graduated from Mipis High, and they're both working now, and they both were married now. So I don't have to worry about them now. And before we start everything, and please scan this QR code and open the slide. And when you open the slide. Please pin the tab of the slide. When you are clicking it, you click on the you click on the tab, and then click the word pin. And when you don't need it, you can always unpin it. So any pin tab, like a regular use tab that you are going to use very often, I always like to pin it. Like my uh, agenda slides or document, I always use. Uh, before we start, I am using Google Meet to start this、uh, conference, the meeting. And please check your ring quality. And if you don't check it, by default it's three sixty. And if you have three sixty, you'll be looking very. <laughs> you will look see. When you have three sixty, you'll be、uh, looking very slow, and the quality is blurry. So changing to a high definition seven twenty, and just click the three dots on the video. Ah,、uh, and I send you an email and ask you to、uh, download this. I wish you can download the emoji, and I want you to teach your kid, your student, to download the emoji. Why, why, why? Some people asking, keeping asking me why. Uh, the reason is. Trying to protect、uh, their privacy. A lot of work right now. We ask them to use video, and when they have the video, when they use the emoji, they use the screen sharing and not the camera, just the screen sharing, and their emoji will come out just like me over here. Ah,、uh, and they need to download the great view for me. Both teacher and student, we need to download so we can see everyone. Ah,、uh, I download myself, but the kids they don't have it, and it's better that they both、uh, we all have it and we can see it. The third one is node. The node for me is when they show hand, I can see them. If they don't have the node, then ah、uh, they can put it in the chat. But it's easier for them to show their opinion by showing their hand or a happy face. So this is behavior, uh, re reaction, uh, add on. These are all add on for the Google Meet. Tab resize, and we teachers better install this one to show everyone's、uh, what's going on in their break room. And I ask my student to download Loom for Chrome, and Loom is a very good screen recording video. Both us teacher and students need to install it. And this one, Creator Studio, is a fun actual add-on to make the GIF image like the first page that I have. And I always、uh, ask student to download the online voice recorder. Teachers, you can、uh, you uh, this one you don't need to down download. In fact, you don't have to download. You just、uh, click the. The link and it will it will be able to, for you to record, and you can do easy editing over there. So, I'm thinking to share about what we need to do before we start any class, any teaching,、uh, the internet setup, any hardware or our lesson plan, and what can we do, use during class? What can we do? For the assessment, or, or or what kind of homework assignment, uh, uh, homework uh, tools, and I give you some samples of our students' work.
before we start, please check your internet speed. And um, see, I don't know my speed is so slow. And my student keep on saying that I cannot hear you. It sounds like an oh, 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 very slow. <laughs> the old lady. <laughs> and later on, I check on the YouTube and find out what can I do. I find out that I can use a Wi-Fi range extender. So I use uh, Amazon and, and I purchase it. It's not, it's, it's under $50, it's very 35 or something. I forgot the, the, the cost is pretty cheap. Uh, you can buy it. And after I installed it, I follow the YouTube uh, step by step. And you can see that the speed, wow, is quite a big difference. It's 224. So, and Howard, and in fact, uh, we need to improve our work by cleaning up, <laughs> especially me. I have a lot of work over there. And we can clean up our Google Drive, back up our, our archive, our own, own classes. And for students who graduate, and yes, please, uh, move your Google Drive files to your personal one. And yes, we can use external webcam, but we don't need it. Uh, you can just uh, use screen recording, then do not need a webcam. Uh, just uh, your on, only use a only use a laptop. And yes, you can use external microphone, uh, but if you have a regular earbud, earbud is good enough. So over here. Uh, no one control me. <laughs> I like to buy, buy, buy. So you can buy the ring light to make your face look brighter. And uh, yes, you can buy the Yeti microphone. I, I will, I will feel like it. And the only thing I put a red mark is, uh, the, the only thing you really need is a laptop. And this is a HD webcam. You don't need it. Headphone, you can have a headphone or just a regular earpod with a microphone. That would be good enough. So when we are thinking about the lesson, we have to think about the kids first. I use Google Classroom and I ask my student to download. This is on, on iPhone, this is on Android phone. So please, they need to download it in order to turn in homework easily. So I always use a backward design to think about what they want to learn, the outcome. I want to know the outcome first, huh? So every time I put put in a agenda, what do you need? What do you need? What do you, what, what we're doing? What we're doing? Huh? And we use Google Meet in order to meet them. And Meet, they're going to have new functions uh, is coming, huh? And so it's more useful now. And we can set up meetings with parents and give them an office hours to set it up and they can sign it in if they want to. Huh? And yes, this is uh, the function we use. You can click over here to see how we how they make a, a break room. And the new extension mute, we can mute the whole audience. The tab resize, you can make the split the screen so the break room uh, they they say that just just give them the link with uh, room one or two or three or four then after the lookup erase the thing after the lookup give them a room one or two on the calendar please watch this video it's very good during class we use jamboard wall wall whiteboard why do i have three different kind of whiteboard because they have different function jamboard uh just like a regular live whiteboard and student can type and write and share their ideas and images and word wall i use this one to pick a just random randomly pick a student's name and this whiteboard is a indi individual local whiteboard And before we use a whiteboard, they have to know how to uh, 
stick or crop an image. It is on iPhone. They just click the power and volume together and then you can get an image. iPad is using the power and home button and click together and then you save the image. And on the iPad or iPhone, you can also use Note, open a camera or Google Translate, open a camera and you can crop an image by open the camera. And for the Chromebook, we hold down the control button with the another button look like this way to crop an image. And by using the crop image, we can turn in for a project, making a PowerPoint or show your homework when you are writing handwriting one. So see handwriting one, handwriting drawing, uh, handwriting math problem. You use this snipping tool to turn in to the classroom. And we can use uh, PDF files of the format, the image, and make it into live worksheet. The Jamboard. I put Jamboard in different teams, and students can send up, oh, I want to be in this team, or that team, or this team. Uh, so they can, they can select which team they want to join together. And I'll give you a QR code. When you scan inside, you can take a look. See, this is another example. We use their name to make their own chop uh, and show share with her whole class. See, I give you a, a homework. This is a link of the homework. You, you scan this one and you can get into the, the, the Jamboard. I have a practice Jamboard for you. You can click and take a look. And there's another very useful URL shortener. I always show students how to use it. You click it, you can, you can install it. And you click on this one, just one click and copy the URL. It will be a shortened one. Huh? And you can also uh, crop the image of their QR code. The water wall, they look like this way. And you click it either in as a random wheel or flashcard, uh, uh, just uh, random cards. When you click, the name will come out. And the whiteboard look like this way. You don't need to sign in. You just click new class, and then they will give you a code. And then you post a code and ask students to go to whiteboard.fi and then code. Before they, you create a new class code, you, you can click Enable Image Upload. Enable Slow Mo, so it will be more easy for students to work. Uh, the good thing is they do not need to sign up. They just get a code number. Uh, everyone has one individually. They cannot see other people's uh, answer. So if you put a question for math and you ask everyone to write, and they can write it out. Uh, and this whiteboard will disappear uh, after each online session. So you don't worry about it. And here are some samples of homework. I do it for the, the apps that I use for home, homework. See Google Slides or Loom or Flipgrid or Poundy Lesson or Blend Space or Google Document. We've used Google Document a lot. Or Quizlet. For the Google Slide, I use Google Slide to make agenda, or I make a template for the whole group, for whole class, and everyone can get into the different page, or I can make it into a digital interactive homework. The agenda look like this, and I, you can click a link to see what's going on. I have every day it's homework assigned, 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 and they can see what's going on. And yes, I take attendance on the first slide on the attendance uh, on the agenda to ask students how are they feeling and uh, to see what's going on. It 
if we don't have data, how can I know? How do they feel? So I want them to tell me. And I, I use this one to make a group work. And this is the example of students' work. Even though I'm talking and uh, teaching Chinese, I feel that this kind of reflection, this is reflection, I use it in the end of the school year. And think about what they have learned and how, what is the strengths, the strengths that support them, support them in their growth. And this is an example of my India in the uh, interactive textbook. And you can always click, 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 I give the link and then you can always click, click, click to find out what, what's going on for this, uh, for this uh, lesson. For the Loom video recording, and this is a very, very easy uh, recorder that we can work. I want them to show how they, how they do it. I give them the Google slide, everyone a copy, and they have to say the one more question. And if they have online results, like a game result or something, and they crop the image and show it to me. I can also uh, give them a instruction video by using Loom. Uh, I make a Google slide first and then a video recording while I'm talking, just like what I'm doing now. And we can use it as a listening practice. We just uh, give them a video with me talking and no text. And we use Flipgrid for speaking practice. And we have been using the Flipgrid for years. And Flipgrid, the good thing is, it's totally free because uh, Microsoft company, they bought, the com they bought the Flipgrid and let every teacher use it without paying any fee. So I always set up all the classes and then uh, every time I create a new topic for the classes to work. And this year they have new functions. They have whiteboard for the Flipgrid and they have uh, the caption, closed caption. And so when they are watching the video, they can view the text and they can listen to it. Uh, and here is a code they can get in. And I have a QR code over there and here and there you can take a look. And I have a uh, uh, introduction, self homework. You can practice with it. And I use this Pandi lesson is a artific artificial intelligence electronic text. And I have made them all for the for, the, for each lesson, I have one, and student can use it. It's very easy to use. When you click something, they can tell you the meaning of the words. See, for, ex for example, this is lesson, uh, Chinese 3 lesson 1, and this is some students' homework. They read it, and they compile the sentences and do it like this way. And we use blank space to collaborate. Blank space, we can, we can sign up in teams. There are four people. Everyone has what's and doing the sentences and they can share their research summary and they can share their, uh, YouTube video that they find. And they even can, uh, do the whole blank space lesson by themselves too. And I use Google Document a lot. And Google Document, we can have individual skit. And I'm asking to type out sentences with WordBank. The WordBank is a new vocab. And they can create word puzzle. And they can play video games uh, for the Quizlet and show their result. And they can do research summary with their topic. And they can do simulation chat. And we can create group skit together in teams. And this is an example of individual skit. You can always take a look by clicking the image. See, this is a, their presentation of our work, uh, magazine by using Google Slides. I give them a template 
they have to create the slides and who is the editor in chief, who are the writers, and each group they show their article. You can click the link and see their magazine. And this is a simulation chat. We can work on two person or we can work on one person uh, just based on our need, we can change the homework. And we, we make word puzzle like this way and they create the puzzle and other people answer it. See, this one, they can put the words side to side or up and down or this side to side this way or this way uh, or up and down. Huh. Uh, this is an example of it. And we use Quizlet a lot. Right. And each Quizlet, we have, when you have a set of flashcards, it will generate write, spell, test, match, gravity, and light game. And right now, light game, we can do it when we have online session. And before, there's only in teams, but right now, they have new function. We can do it individually. And we use Padlet. Padlet is to show their work. It's every lesson, I want them to write uh, their reflection for each lesson. And this one is a final project. They show which uh, best work they have. And we can use the uh, palette to brainstorm ideas about writing, or if they have something learning strategies, they can share it on palette. Then everyone can see it. And this year, I'm focusing on making more new live worksheet. So this one class kit is a brand new one. I'm working on it and it's, the platform is pretty easy to use and I, I like to use a format. And another one is called Live Rushi. And there are tons of sources, resources you can find and you can use other people's and change a little bit and become yours. And you can have audios inserted and you can have, uh, you can ask them to type it out or drag it and drop. So yes, it's pretty easy to work and it's very useful. I am going to have more of this kind of live worksheet for the student. For the assessment, I use every lesson I have a test and every lesson I have exit ticket uh, to collect their information, to collect their outcome, what did they learn. And we can also use Flipgrid, Quizzes, Kahoo, or Otis. Oh, this is a brand new one. My test is looking like this way. And don't forget, I give you a link like this way over here. If you click on it or scan this one, you can get a certificate certificate when you finish. <laughs> Showing you, you have, this is my example. Showing you that you have finished this online uh, summer training <laughs> uh, and this is a, a as a ticket uh, example huh? and I use Flipgrid for speaking comprehension and you click it I have a question there you can listen to it and you can practice <laughs> yes it is in Chinese <laughs> and I use Flipgrid to make a mock AP exam uh, because I can attach the uh, listening part is a YouTube video and part two is culture presentation is also a YouTube video and students can listen to it they cannot see any words because I don't have any words and they can do the video recording saying their answers there so Flickwish is so powerful so useful and I love quizzes uh, quizzes is totally free and the good thing is when you have assigned, you can assign to play live together with students 
or you can assign as homework. And I always have a, a vocabulary quiz by using the quizzes. And we can see the report. This is the report. The report shows that, well, which question? Oh, so many people get correct. So many people get it. Uh, so, so many people need to improve on which one. I love that it has report. And also, the quizzes can link with Google Classroom. We can assign some test or quiz to certain classroom and schedule it. It's very easy to very good to use. And Kahoo. And Kahoo, Kahoo, not only we can play live during class, right now we can have individual self practice section. So I ask some question and they can answer is that correct or not correct or something. And they also have the report. The good thing is the report, we can find out which one they have problem with. Otis is a new thing I talk about. Uh, the most important thing is they have, they put down everything together. You can put a standard based quiz and you can uh, do a video recording or audio recording, say the question, they answer it, and it can be set up as self graded. And you can have their uh, reports from the state test or any test or any other subject or their attendance, put it all together. And we set up bookshelf to get organized. Huh? See here is from my bookshelf for Chinese one, lesson one, I'm still working on it. And this is brand new one for this school new year. And the last one is online voice recorder. Oh, uh, we just click on the link to get to the site. You do not, no one needs to sign up anything. You just click the red thing to record. After you record, you can uh, save it. You can trim a little bit. Uh, if it's something in the front is too noisy, some, something in the back has too many, uh, you can trim it. Uh, and I save it on my desktop first and then drag it to the dry and then insert uh, the mp3 in slides or google document and my students use it see i ask them to download this uh, just to save on their how do you say on their home screen you can open the slide uh, open this website and save this website on home screen on your phone or ipad and then you can do the online recording all the time. It is MP3 format. So to wrap up, we have talked about the internet speed, uh, how to find a hotspot has, has, <laughs> to make it faster, uh, how to, uh, we have to check it first. Uh, we, we, I understand their problem and my problem. And the, the, hardware you only need the laptop and the earpod and think about the plan supposed to be thinking about what angle from the from a learner's angle what can they learn when they are doing it by themselves and what kind of online interactive apps we have talked about jamboard quizlet kahoo quizzes wall wall or something and assignment, we use a lot of slides, Google document, and use a video, and use a, see, Pangi, Flipgrid. And for assessment, we can play Kahoot together, or a Flipgrid, uh, or quizzes. And every time, don't forget how do they feel. I always have a the form for the kids to raise question. I give them the link and they can, this is the result they generate. When I collect their question, I will post a response for them. And don't forget, here is your certificate. You can click the form 
or you can uh, scan this one and see let me show you the form i am going to give you one and you can make a copy of this one and you can change it into your own this is here question these are some basic questions when you modify it a little bit you can you can make it into attendance checking form so that is my presentation and please I really like to know uh, how do you feel about this session and uh, fill out this form please from the school district and you can contact me by using the gmail or my my uh, facebook is uh, martha kang and i want to thank especially for our school district they support us all the time uh, every year in the summer we have uh, professional development i learned from them for so many years and i really want to uh, say thank to our department teachers they support me they help me and take a look at my slide and give me suggestion i really appreciate and i learned a lot from online uh, uh, teachers from taiwan our local area bay area and i joined these these are my personal learning network i joined those groups on the facebook and i read uh, their posts and I learned so much. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Your your support make me uh make me grow. See, I can use uh GIF to show the whole thing in one glimpse. And I really appreciate Slice Carnival. They uh, give us free template, and we can use it so easily. That's all that. Thank you, everyone. Uh, that's what I'm going to say for the whole session. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate your hard work. Thank you. Bye bye.